you guys, I'm Aubrey. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're joining me for the first time. Uh, today, I'm gonna show y'all the food prep that I am doing for our family of nine. First off, I am making some like Mexican chicken type of uh, roll-ups for my kids' lunch boxes. So this is super easy. I put about four chicken breasts in the Instant Pot, cooked them up, shredded them. I like to use an electric mixer. If you haven't tried it, it's amazing. Um, then all I added was one block of cream cheese, about half a cup of sour cream, a cup of shredded cheese, and then some taco seasoning and some salsa. So I mix all that up, and then um, I love, we really enjoy these uncooked flour tortillas from Costco. So I made up a bunch of tortillas there on the griddle, and I'm just adding in the stuffing mixture and then rolling them on up to put in their lunches. So I just spread out the mixture. Um, I leave about two inches here at the edge because as I roll it up, it kind of squishes it out a little bit. So I don't want an overflowing tortilla, but that is about all. There you go. There is a delicious taco chicken wrap. I also made two big batches of granola. Um, we have started school, so this is a good thing to, you can throw it in a lunchbox or it obviously makes for a really easy breakfast. This one here is like cinnamon pecan pumpkin granola. I trying it for the first time. I'm super excited to taste that one. And this is my traditional uh, chocolate granola that I make. Um, I've been making that for a couple years now and it is absolutely delicious. Granola is great because you can add in like so much extra nutrition. So I like to put a lot of nuts and seeds. You can add chia seeds, hemp seeds. You can add, I actually put some pumpkin seeds in a food processor and blended them up and added it to the chocolate granola here. Um, I also add in some collagen powder to get some extra protein and some of that, those great like collagen peptides. You can add spices. You can add cacao powder, which has really great antioxidant benefits. Like you can really just pack granola with so much nutrition and I absolutely love it, way better than store-bought, tastes better, and a lot more nutritional value. All right, so now that our wraps are done, I am just chopping up some veggies. I've got Amaya here helping me out. And then we're gonna fill up two days worth of lunch containers for all the seven kids. All right, so I was about to make some ranch dip for those veggies, but I realized I'm out of mayonnaise, so let's go to the kitchen and make some mayonnaise. I have shared my mayonnaise recipe before, but if you've never made mayonnaise yourself, it is like one of the coolest things ever. To see the oil and the egg like emulsify into mayonnaise is so cool. It's a really fun thing to do with your kids too because it's literally like a science experiment. Okay, I like to start with some pasture raised eggs. Um, I'm gonna be doubling the recipe, so I'm gonna do eggs, then you add a cup of oil, some salt, some spicy mustard, and some lemon juice. And you guys, that's all there is to it. Five ingredients, it's super cool. And you can use like a fresh lemon, but I got this at Costco a while back and I absolutely love having it super convenient to have in the fridge. So here we've got, I put my eggs in first, uh, then my oil, then all the other ingredients, and we are going to blend it up, you guys. Okay, Josiah, here's gonna be my uh, my videographer, right? You be the cameraman? Okay, we're gonna use this immersion blender here, and we're gonna stick it right on down. You wanna make sure that the yolks get underneath the blender, and then we're gonna pulse it. All right, I like to do a little bit at the bottom and slowly work my way all right then Issa wanted to help me with the ranch dip so uh here is the mayonnaise though super cool looks like mayonnaise you guys homemade mayo yum yum so it's a half a cup of the yogurt i really love this um whole milk yogurt. I also get that at Costco, and then we're gonna add also a half cup of mayonnaise. If you don't have the yogurt, you can also use sour cream. I prefer the flavor though with yogurt over sour cream, but it definitely works in a pinch. Right now she is just adding in all of the spices right on top and we'll mix it all up. So you do parsley, dill, garlic, onion, onion flakes, which I don't have today, uh, pepper and salt. And I'm gonna actually use some of this onion salt so we can do a little less regular salt. Only my favorite part. <laughs> I like adding it on in and then I like stir it. 
interesting. Uh, and for right now, we only have these two section containers. So I got some of these on the go cups. So she is filling up some little ranch cups to go with their veggies. Here's the first day. I try to make them a little different. This has the um, veggies with the dip and some grapes. Uh, however, on the second day they have the wrap, I did an orange with less grapes and then I did peas for the veggies uh, and then I actually gave them a little maple cookie I got from Trader Joe's. So I just try to make them at least slightly different but with a lot of the same components to cut down on time. So I don't necessarily always go into meal prepping, know exactly what I'm gonna do. I just like have on my mind things that I would like to get done and then something passes my mind and I have another idea. So the yogurt was already out because of the ranch dip. So to go with the granola I just made, I'm actually gonna whip up our um, our like flavored version of yogurt because I bought I buy plain. It's a lot easier for me to mix up a big bowl of it rather than mix everyone's individually. It just it cuts so much time down in the morning. I know that might seem like ridiculous, but when I'm stirring together like seven little bowls of yogurt with maple syrup it just takes too long so I do it in one big bowl and just keep it in the fridge for the week All right so as you can see I just dumped the entire rest of the container into my bowl then I'm gonna add in a splash of vanilla and some maple syrup I don't really measure these things but we're gonna add them in there and whisk it all together I just have so many helpers today so let's try to whisk it like little bits at a time this is a really big whisk and a lot of yogurt yeah, buddy. Do you like yogurt? <laughs> We're already almost finished. It's looking good. We go all around the edge. Okay, and then like this. Ready? Like this. Can I like it? Yeah. No, I want to like it. Well, it's Mimi's turn. I want yogurt. Yum. Here's the deal on like food prep days is I prep a lot of food and then I'm like, there's nothing to eat. But it's dinner time, so there has to be something to eat or Guillermo over here will go a little crazy. So I'm going to make some quick dinner because usually when I cook, I, I always say like cook once, eat twice. So I made mashed potatoes the other night and I made enough for another meal. So we're going to do like a beef stroganoff, but instead of noodles, we're going to serve it on top of mashed potatoes and call it good. It should take me like 20 minutes, babe, 20 minutes. Let's get dinner on the table. It's been 11 minutes. Uh, Guillermo helped me. We ground some beef with some onions. I chopped up some mushrooms that I got really cheap at Aldi. Baby's crying in the background. Um, and then I keep this on hand uh, for moments like this. I don't use it all the time, um, but I got some of this beef base and added some water and we're gonna let it boil for about five minutes. Uh, then I'm gonna add in some coconut cream and then we'll be done. I'm gonna serve it over the potatoes. Uh, they're already cooked. I put them in the oven to kind of heat up and then we're gonna serve it with some salad and we're gonna call that dinner, you guys. All right, you guys, we got dinner on the table in less than 30 minutes. We got the lunches prepped. We've got breakfast for a couple days, granola, all sorts of good things. <laughs> so thanks for spending a day at the Rod Squad with screaming babies in the background. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and I hope to see you next time. But until then, you guys have a blessed, blessed day.